Hey, good morning. Good morning. It is Friday. Listen, since it's Friday, don't you don't slow down, don't stop. Stay the course, right? Yes, make sure you get some rest this weekend. Make sure that you're able to enjoy what you work for, for your labor's not in vain. But listen, God wants you to understand to stay the course. God is a God of peace, not of confusion. In the scripture that I was reading this morning, my devotion, 2 Timothy 2, 7, it says, think over what I say, for the Lord will give you understanding in everything. Because God is a God of peace, not of confusion, he wants us to have clarity. He wants us to understand who he is and to have faith in what he says, right? Who he says we are, his plan and his purpose, even for our life. When you think about confusion, it's a disorder, it's chaos, it's a disarrangement, right? It's the quality of state of being confused. That means you're mixed up, you're perplexed, you're disorientated, right? You have uh, a loss of a uh, sense of time and uh, place or even identity. We know in Genesis chapter one, verse 28, God blessed them. That means he blessed male and female. There's a blessing in our identity. There's a blessing in understanding and believing in God's word and who he says for us. And you got to realize that the enemy comes to kill, steal, and destroy. That means that he want, he's going to be provoked to bring confusion so you won't understand how blessed you are and understand that there is peace that we can have and walk in and that we can walk in faith and victory because the enemy knows that without faith, we are unable to receive from God. Without faith, it is impossible to please him. So listen, God is a God of peace, not of confusion. If you find yourself confused, go into God, go into his word and find and receive the peace, the clarity the understanding that he has to offer you. God bless and have a wonderful weekend.